right off the bat with Forsaken, we knew we wanted to give everyone a new way to play. We learned from the Taken King that it was great to add new subclasses, but when people sort of identified with other subclasses, we weren't always offering them a new way to play, right? And so we wanted to extend every subclass instead of just adding new ones, because this way everyone gets a new way to play, no matter what you identify with. And so we took each subclass one at a time, talked about their identity, their mechanical goals, and what they're missing, and then tried to see if we could fill that gap. Or if they're doing a really good job, they're just trying to surprise you with a new way to think about that fantasy. So with the Sunbreaker, we knew the identity was pretty solid. It's like destructive, it's raw force and power. The current way you can do that with the Sunbreaker is like a bombardier, you're staying back, you're at the, the top of the hill tossing bombs super far away. And we wanted to see like, what would it feel like to be the Sunbreaker that charges the castle and breaks the door, right? And so we took this little hammer and made it a giant hammer. <laughs> and you can basically use all that weight to like use it with momentum and just spin around like over and over again. Anytime you can hit the right trigger and you can do like this giant overhead slam and you'll hit the hammer down on the ground, send this screaming earthquake in front of you and that'll hit guys and detonate into this giant whirlwind of fire. And the other thing that we wanted to do with the Sunbreakers uh, neutral game, like the rest of the perks that come with the subclass path, we always wanted to find a way to give you a way to throw something just like hunters do. Um, but we wanted to find a way to make that feel like Titans, right? So what we tried was you throw the hammer, Instead of it just like detonating like a grenade, it actually like bonks the guy in the face, <laughs> falls on the ground, and it just stays there. When you pick it up, you get all of your melee energy back and you can do it right away. So basically you just like hit guys in the face, slide back over the top of the hammer, grab it again, and just keep going. Just keep, do that as long as you want. So people ended up building like sort of an attachment to it. And they're like, oh man, my hammer! I can't, I can't let my hammer go. I gotta go get it on my I gotta go fight all these dudes to make sure I can get my hammer every time I throw it. So the Sentinel, what we wanted to do this time was give you a way to sort of carry your team. When you guard with your shield, it's actually a huge wall instead of like a personal shield. And the wall is big enough to actually have multiple teammates behind you and they can actually fire through the wall. So you're basically carrying this wall, moving your team like a convoy, protected, and they can fire where they're perfectly safe, basically. We also found a really interesting um, element to the new Sentinel where you can basically be a commander for your team. What we wanted to do is put a bomb on targets that you had to keep firing at to make it explode. And it kind of feels like you're filling up a balloon the whole time. You're like sticking on a guy, you're shooting at him, and it's filling this balloon like bigger and bigger and bigger, and then pop! And then that damage actually causes the balloon to get sort of planted on other targets, and it keeps spreading. And it's sort of guiding the action for you and your team. So the striker's got a bunch of really new exciting things on him. We all kind of like empathize with the community in the sense that we kind of miss that old fashioned just like one off, slam the ground, everything's dead and you just kind of go home. And we found a really interesting way to do that with uh, what we're calling the Thunder Crash. You'll actually take off into the skies from wherever you are and you drive around like a ballistic missile and actually get to steer yourself along the way and just slam into whatever you want and just cause this massive detonation. We wanted to find a way to constantly make you feel like you're this missile. So when you're sprinting, you just jump in the air and you lift. And from there, if you press your melee button, you'll actually charge up your fist and just detonate against the ground anyway. You'll kind of like dive back down towards the ground as like a dive bomb and cause a detonation. So you can kind of always be this missile. We like to say like strikers don't use weapons, they make themselves a weapon, right? So they throw their body at the enemy. That's what this entire path is all about, is throwing your body directly at the fight. So Stormcaller, so basically the arc beam is this, this long range destructive power where you're unleashing lightning at enemies and it over penetrates all targets. Sometimes you'll just murder everything that you wanted to and you're kind of just hanging out with this energy just kind of flying out of your hand and you wanted to save it. So what we did was we made a way for you to turn off your arc beam early and you actually save a bunch of your super energy. We want to try and make sure that each super has something that no other super can do. We wanted to find a way to make it feel like you were tapping into the world of Warlock sort of mystic energy. Internally was what we call something uh, ley line, which is like this energy that's sort of latent in the world that only warlocks could tap into. When you're killing enemies, occasionally these like sparks of light will come out of the ground where they die and you have to kind of catch it. You have to like position yourself to get in sort of the line of sight of this ley line and pick it up. And when you do, you'll actually get a bunch of energy for all your abilities. So the Voidwalker, instead of like hanging back and throwing an explosive from range, we wanted you to be able to zip around the battlefield and basically charge up a detonation locally and just unleash havoc around you. You have two moves in your super. One is what we call a dark blink, and it's basically a teleportation move that you can combo 
like one after another. And then you can charge up in a detonation that can get bigger the longer you charge it. Or if you want, you can kind of save the energy and you can just tap that trigger and get little localized explosions that are a little bit smaller, but way more efficient. So Dawn Blade right now, that's this angel of death floating above the battlefield, tossing blades of fire down, destroying everything on the ground. And instead, we wanted to make you this benevolent angel flying around the battlefield looking at people who need help and giving them energy and giving them life. Instead of summoning your blade and jumping into the sky, you'll actually take your blade and plant it into the ground and that'll radiate this aura that helps your friends. It heals them, it gives them bonus damage, it basically gives you this well of power that reinforces a position and gives you a way to kind of destroy all your enemies much more easily. The other thing we added to the Dawn Blade is what we're calling the healing grenade. The way it works is you take whatever grenade you have equipped and you hold the button and instead of throwing a grenade you'll actually convert your grenade into a healing grenade and when you throw it it'll heal anyone it hits and it'll give them an overshield. So you can basically protect your friends from afar, you can kind of follow them around, wait for them to get weak, throw an energy ball down that gives them a shield, or you can quote it, leave one around for someone to come pick up when they're in need. So for Arc Strider, we wanted to kind of deep dive on what else we could do with the martial arts sort of fantasy of the Arc Staff Hunter. So the way this super works is you hold your left trigger while it's active, and it'll actually, you'll spin your staff super fast and deflect projectiles right back at enemies. So you'll keep yourself protected and be able to send their damage back. So it gives you a little bit of like depth in how you block, when you block. If you're aiming well, you can actually kind of send the damage right back at them. Um, and you get to feel like just a ninja, just spinning the staff around really fast, uh, dodging, attacking, all still options. So the other thing with the Arc Strider is we found a way to make the hunter shoulder charge. And the way this one works is you sprint and then you slide. And once you're sliding, if you press melee, you'll actually summon your arc staff temporarily to slice it across the ground and create this lightning storm that just shoots ahead of you and just damages all these guys in front of you. And the Gunslinger is totally different. <laughs> it is awesome. It's like we went from this hyper precise skill focused thing to this just storm of burning knives that just finds guys and it just hits them all in the face with these explosive knives. So it kind of like plants in their face, it plants them wherever on the ground, lights up, and then boom, they all pop, 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 Like it's super cool. And basically we wanted it to feel like the hunter's easier super to use for sort of like ramping new players in, but then also give it that depth that hunters love where they get to be still pretty precise and pretty skillful. Depending on the number of targets that are in front of you, it'll actually sort of like choose how many knives it's gonna throw at each guy. So if there's like one big guy, he'll get every knife that you're throwing. And if there's like 20 of them, it'll just spread it across all of them evenly and just kind of create this like giant popping sea of explosions. For the Night Stalker overall fantasy, it's always about being this tactical ninja, having tools of the trade, having uh, enhanced information. But we wanted to do it where you can get up close and personal. This version of the Night Stalker actually has a super where you summon two void blades, they're kind of like katanas, and you'll go into stealth. And once you're in stealth, you get something we call a true sight, which means you can see any enemy behind a wall. So you can basically stalk the battlefield from stealth, have enhanced information about where everybody is, choose your route, jump out of the shadows and just stab guys in the neck. <laughs> it's, it's super cool. Another philosophy we wanted to explore this time around was basically broadening all the combat options you have, the different roles you can play as a, a player in Destiny, trying to give you ways to kind of play with team composition, ways to make you feel uniquely different from the rest of your team. Having lots of different options that just feel like they're gonna be able to do something that no one else can do. And so with the healing support kind of stuff, we wanted to make sure that that was a really strong focus on healing and helping, where something else can be a really strong focus on just tactics or creating opportunities and something else can be focused on just raw damage. And then you can kind of play together around what your team composition is like.